Buenos dias, señoritas y señoritos. The team and allies of former Vice President Lenny Robredo have joined in the uh, criticism galore <laughs> uh, directed at uh, Vice President Sara Duterte for her failure to act on the problems at the Department of Education but uh, uh, she is quite distracted in meddling into all other issues except attending to the pressing issues of the Department of Education. So, halos lahat ng issue gustong pasukan ni uh, BP Sara Duterte except yung mga malalaking problema dyan sa DepEd na may pinakamalaking budget pa naman sa lahat ng asyenda na, sa lahat ng mga ahensya ng gobyerno. Almost 1 trillion or 800 to 900 million billion ang budget ng DepEd. And yet, busy busy si Sara sa peace talks, busy busy sa issue ng, uh, ng uh, I, uh, ICC, busy busy sa red tagging, busy busy sa, sa pati, pati issue ng Hamas versus Israel na pasukan na niya, na, na niya rin lahat except yung DepEd. Kaya sabi ng uh, sabi ng uh, sabi ng former spokesperson ni uh, ni uh, Vice President Lenny Robredo and I believe hindi naman magsasalita itong si Attorney Barry Gutierrez na without seeking clearance from uh, Vice President former Vice President Lenny Robredo. Kaya sabi nito si uh, Barry Gutierrez na former congressman rin. Sabi niya uh, sila rin nagwo-wonder bakit itong uh, si Vice President Sara Duterte seems to be interested in all matters outside of the Department of Education kasi dapat dyan lang siya focus eh. kasi as Vice President ceremonial lang man siya magta-takeover siya pag alis si Marcos kung may mga foreign dignitaries imimit niya kung hindi makapunta si Marcos abroad siya ang papadalan ganun lang role niya eh. so ang main main the, the responsibility niya talaga is the Department of Education pero nagtataka si Attorney Barry Gutierrez bakit lahat na lang inasikaso niya except the DepEd sabi niya and I quote itong statement ni uh, uh, Barry Gutierrez it is quite evident that the Vice President Sara Duterte that Vice President Sara Duterte has been actively involved in matters that are beyond her responsibilities as the Secretary of Education. Her attempt to involve herself in issues outside of her responsibilities, like, like questions on allowing the, ICE, the International C Criminal Court to investigate the drug war killings, the conduct of peace talks between the government and communists, communist rebels. Dito, di ba, tawag niya yung ginagawa ni Marcos uh, uh, a pack or a deal with the devil. <laughs> and then, uh, sabi niya, sabi ni Gutierrez, meddling in foreign relations by agreeing, by greeting China on its anniversary. Ha? Nag-greet siya sa anniversary ng China in Chinese na uh, parang pinapalabas siya talaga ang presidente ng Pilipinas. And ribbon cutting events uh, involving Chinese uh, businesses are concerning, sabi niya. Sabi ni Gutierrez, yes, it's common for politicians to check different issues and do other activities. But the extent of the vice president, but the extent of vice president Duterte's involvement in issues outside her primary function raises questions about her focus and priorities as Secretary of Education dagdag pa ni Gutierrez so sabi niya ang dami niyang inaasikaso sa issue ng uh, 
ng peace talks, sa issue ng uh, ng uh, foreign relations, sa issue ng uh, meron pa siya pinuna pa niya yung or, or inopose pa niya yung plano sana ni Marcos na pagbigyan yung yung request ng US na dito ipoprocess yung 80,000 na uh, Afghan refugees na dito ipoprocess yung visa nila bigyan sila ng clearance bago bago i-allow sila pumasok sa Amerika pati yun tinutulan niya so lahat na lang except at nablog naman natin noon ang problema yung ng DepEd na nagiging bobo na yung mga estudyante kulela tayo uh, 77 out of uh, out of 81 countries na na kung saan ginawa yung assessment test on science, math and reading pero nyo napaka 6 years daw tayo behind sa sa educational attainment educational standard ng ibang bansa. So yun incidentally, yun rin ang six years ng Duterte administration. Isipin niyo yan, grabe. Ibig sabihin mas nag mas naging bobo talaga yung mga estudyante nung time ni Duterte. So sabi ni Barry Gutierrez, there are a lot of problem fa problems faced by the education sector from shortage of teachers A uh, lack of infrastructure and learning materials, di ba? Le mayroon tayo uh, recent blog about yung 3 billion na nakatenga jan sa mga sa mga warehouses dahil lang uh, may kaso kaso yung debt pati yung mga bata supply favorite supplier daw during the time ni ni former President Duterte na na skin claim may mga utang pa sa kanila hindi pa nabayaran sila kaya hindi din deliver yung mga goods na yan so yun hindi na so kaso ni Sara yun so yun sinasabi lack of infrastructure and learning materials kasi nakatenga yan from the time pa ni President Duterte uh, sabi niya so up to the effectiveness of the curriculum in public schools based on the world report This 2023, 9 out of 10 Filipino students age 10 do not have the appropriate ability to sleep, to read. Isipin nyo, 9 out of 10, hindi naman makakabasa. Kawawa ang Pilipinas. We will really go down. We will really go down as a country kung ang workforce natin ay ganito kabobo. This, sabi niya, ni Barry Gutierrez, this is proof of severe education crisis in the country. Severe. Kung baga, sobra-sobra na talaga ang problema ng edukasyon sa bansa. Sabi niya, and I quote, if ever Vice President, President Duterte finds the demands of the Secretary of Education overwhelming or incompatible with her interest and skills it might be prudent for her to consider stop, stepping down from this role sabi ni Gutierrez so he is echoing a call by uh, by uh, by uh, former uh, uh, senator and now liberal party spokesperson uh, Laila De Lima na sinabi rin Uh, kung hindi naman uh, kung magkasalungat na ang pananaw sa mga issues o sa mga programa ni ni Sara Duterte kay President Bongbong Marcos then she better resign kung hindi na siya if she can no longer act as alter ego she should resign as deputy secretary because as deputy sec secretary she's supposed to support the programs and uh, and policies of the of the Marcos cabinet So ito naman si Barry Gutierrez gusto niya mag-resign dahil wala na nga focus sa DepEd. So dapat sabi niya kung iba ang priority mo, ibang pananaw mo, iba ang iba ang mga bagay-bagay binibigyan mo importansya kasi uh, kagaya kay uh, Barry Gutierrez, lawyer rin ito si Sara, hindi naman talaga educator. So sabi niya dapat mag-resign ka na lang. And I agree. Uh, napaka the Department of Education is such a very important and very financially rich uh, department na hindi pwede iwanan sa mga politiko, 
or a vice president at that na busy rin preparing for her political uh, yun lang to manage your uh, and to oversee the operation of her 10 satellite offices for the office of the vice president uh, hindi hindi na niya yan ma magampanan kasi those offices are located all over the country eh, lalo pa nga yung DepEd so please resign na if you really love the Filipino students if you really love the country please resign Vice President Duterte so please share this blog so that uh, umabot ito sa, sa office of the Vice President and her supporters magingay po tayo dito sa bagay na ito tell your friends to share this blog at uh, to to really convince the vice president to resign na for the benefit of the Filipino students and the future and tell them to subscribe to the blogcaster armadin youtube channel thank you for watching and see you in my next blog